Hello and welcome to the complete AutoCAD course. In today's lesson, we'll be going over through the tools, how to use them, and their basic understanding. So, first of all, as we already remembered from the past lesson, this is the main menu right here. And from the main menu, we could view those four simple things. We are going to go through those four simple things. And without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, we already drew a line. For example, let's say uh, you flipped up something and you would like to fix it. One of the more things in AutoCAD, one of the main things in learning any other skill, you have to mess up to learn new stuff. Um, messing up and mistakes are just a part of this journey that will drive you and push you even further further in this journey and will make you a better person while using this tool and while understanding how to use them because mistakes tend to make you learn faster than actually not making any mistake so let's say let we draw a line here a basic line and we messed up something we maybe messed up the angle we maybe i don't know we messed up something it's very simple very easy to do just control z and you are back again like you did nothing control z again and you are also good to go so in the basic tools we are going to see as i said a line simply a line is just a line so what you would be able to do is maybe draw a line click the left button and then draw a line again there is no need to click uh, escape or something just draw a line again and you are good to go draw a line here and connect with this line so when you see the dot here you can connect with this line heading ASO will quit drawing lines and you can maybe uh, go back here and add let's choose line again and choose another line here and here you go you are good to go you hit him uh, ASO will do the job again so we could also see we have a pay line a polyline my bad so a polyline is just simply a line that's a polyline look so As you can see here, it is. It's a polyline that works like it intends to do. So that's how you drag something maybe up and down. So going back here, for example, you'd like to drag this up and down. This is how you'll be able to do it. So for example, this is connected with a 90 degrees. So it will go up and down with it. So it will go up and down with it. We could also view a circle here. As you can see, this is a circle. Let me first of all clear up everything. You can do Control A, Control A plus Delete button to clear up everything. So, as you can see, this is a circle. As we said, this is a circle. So, what you can do simply is choose the center of the circle and then move up. My bad. Let me choose the circle again. You could choose the center of the circle and then move up on the right side or any side it doesn't matter this will choose the radius of this circle itself so you can make it bigger we can make it smaller or you can type a value you can type a value as you could see let me go back so i could show you if we did this you could see the highlighted blue number you could type a value there the value that we are sure of and it will draw it with that so scrolling up and down will zoom up and will zoom down as well which is pretty pretty cool pretty simple and pretty accessible and yeah that was it for the basic tools we could also see here the arc as well so this is the arc you could draw a circle with the arc as well if you know how to do it but it's not going to be a fully closed circle as you can see, this is the arc right here. So, for example, you choose a line point and then you'll click here and then it will do an arc, a, a like circle arc. And then you would play with it as you go and you'll be able to do the arc here. So, yeah, that was it for the basic tools. We are going to go through those tools as we move on through the course. We are going to go, for example, this is the move tool. It, moves the tools so for example specify an object and then we specify the opposite corner and we are good to go so 
So as I was saying, we are going to go through these tools as we move on. So every tool is going to have a purpose. And as we move on and learn how to do new objects and new stuff, we are going to learn every single tool. That was it for today's lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you in another lesson.